Okay, it's a quick tutorial on how to use Google Street View. So if you, no matter what browser you're using, just go into your address and type in maps.google.ca and then press the return key. This works for uh, Apple and it works for uh, PC computers. So in the search, you want to enter in the address. So in this case, I'm going to enter in 23, uh, is it 2328? No, wait, what is it? Nate Land, yeah, 2238, okay. So I'm going to enter in 2238 Nate Land, and you see it's already coming up here. This is the address for Center for Art Tapes. So you click on, on it when you see it come up here, and you'll see that Maps is taking you to it. So it's right here, and if I zoom in using the plus in the bottom right hand corner, I can see that this image right here is pretty much this thing. And if I go around the corner, that this is my location. So the red um, flag or whatever is this building up in the back. So you have to take a look at the image and compare it to what you're seeing here in order to figure out. But to get into Street View, it's very easy. You go down to the bottom right hand corner and you see this little man. I should mention this works on computers. There's other ways to do it through your smartphone, but I'm just going to teach this the computer way um, for this tutorial. So you click and hold down this little man and drag him. Good little person, doesn't may not be a man. And since I want I don't want to see this red building, I want to see this. I'm gonna drop him on Maitland Street right here and let go. There we go. So now we're in Street View, and all I'm doing is clicking with my mouse and dragging. And you can see this is the building right here that you'll be going to for your workshop. You can't park in the parking lot, by the way. Um, but as you can see, there is street parking. And since this will be the weekend, uh, then you're really good. The best thing about Street View, though, is that you can also roam the area. So if you move your mouse, you see how it turns into an arrow? Just click as far ahead as you want to to get to the stop sign. Just click once, move it around, and when your arrow is in the position you want it to be in, just click again. And you can see I'm going off Maitland Street. I'm going up Cornwallis. I'm just going to click here. And Street View takes me all the way up. Keep on going. And I'll just speed ahead. But this is a great, if you haven't used this before, definitely, definitely use it. I use this before I go on vacation to a new location so I can get used to it. So I just made a left onto Gottingen. And my favorite coffee shop uh, on this street is The Nook. And that's right here. And this is where you can have lunch and a bunch of options. And I'm just clicking and dragging my screen. And I could go further down the street. There's other um, places down here where you can get food if you're not a fan of The Gottingen, uh, or sorry, of The Nook. But I can also just go back. And I can travel back down to, uh, to where I began. So this is just an incredible tool. Please use it to get used to the area and what options are available because it, it can get frustrating when you get when I get a lot of emails of people saying, is there parking? Where's this? Where's that? But if you have the address, just go to Street View. You'll find your answer. And I hope this is helpful.